In the following research we're about to look at, we're looking at an animal study. But what we're looking at is probably one of the easiest ways to help combat against bacterial pneumonia through making certain an individual has adequate dietary intake of zinc. We're not looking at a supplement. We're just looking at maintaining adequate dietary levels on how powerful that could be in helping combat against one of the primary causes of pneumonia, streptococcus pneumoniae or pneumoniae, depending on your pronunciation preference. Most people say pneumonia, even though I do believe, correct me if I'm wrong, the correct pronunciation is pneumonia. But to proceed as follows. Dietary zinc protects against streptococcus pneumonia infection. Pneumonia. See, now I'm self-conscious about it. Research has uncovered a crucial link between dietary zinc intake and protection against streptococcus pneumonia, the primary bacterial cause of pneumonia. This is amazing. They found that mice with lower zinc intake succumb to infection up to three times faster because their immune system has insufficient zinc to aid in killing the bacteria. Quoting the researcher, dietary zinc is associated with immune function and resistance to bacterial infection, but how it provides protection has remained elusive. Keep in mind, there will be links to the full study as published, so you can delve into it a little deeper, but to proceed, quote, our work shows that zinc is mobilized to sites of infection where it stresses the invading bacteria and helps specific immune cells kill streptococcus pneumoniae. No, I'm saying pneumoniae. Pneumonia. Now, you may ask yourself, what is the chance of being deficient? For this data, we're going to go to the National Institute of Health's website, which has actually done a really good job in covering zinc. But to proceed as follows. Evidence suggests that zinc intakes among older adults might be marginal. An analysis of data found that up to 35 to 45 percent of adults aged 60 years or older had zinc intakes below estimated average requirements. When investigators considered intakes, I'll cover the requirements: 6.8 milligrams a day for females, 9.4 milligrams a day for males, elderly males. When the investigators considered intakes from both food and dietary supplements, this is real important to review exactly your diet as well as your dietary supplements. They found that 20 to 25 percent of older adults still had inadequate intakes of zinc. Now, if we look at a few of the studies, for example, that we covered over, I'd say, prior to the past two years, we're looking at zinc deficiency and high blood pressure, zinc in regard to halting certain types of cancers uh, in studies, and also, too, zinc's ability to help recovery from a cold up to threefold, which is interesting because. If you look at the recovery from cold, the threefold recovery time uh, increased by threefold. And you're looking at basically uh, succumbing to pneumonia uh, three times greater when zinc levels are low. It's an interesting correlation between that number there. But to proceed as follows zinc, dietary wise, real, real simple uh, way to help protect an individual, especially if there's a person of elderly. Uh, Oh, well, I should say elderly, person older, that's 60 years or older. I don't like to use the word elderly. Uh, and just to check your diet. Make sure they get adequate zinc. And by doing that, probably one of the greatest, greatest allies in helping defend against bacterial pneumonia. Again, link to the DOI citation will be there to follow the link on, to see the methodology, the outcome, uh, to see if it agrees with what your studies basically may imply. But in any case, it's there for you. Thank you, thank you very much for listening. Hope to see you all again next seven days. And once again, please subscribe. There's no other way for us to get the information out to you. And we have a lot of information over the years. But in any case, it was just one video. Thank you. And I'll catch you guys all next time. See you then. Bye.